Snow guards are helpful on your metal roof because they protect high traffic or sensitive areas of your property from the danger of an avalanche. In this video, Adam Mazzella from Sheffield Metals and Sean Haddock from S5 explain how to prepare a roof for snow guard installation, what tools you will need, and how to choose the right engineered product for your roof. Stay tuned for the next video where we demonstrate the installation process from start to finish. So sitting here with Sean Haddock and just want to go over kind of everything we have in front of us, what we need to, to perform on this successfully. So I guess we'll start with the product. Um, uh, we're going to go with a color guard system. You guys have a multitude of different systems, but why I chose the color guard today was you don't see it now, but we will put, we will slide a uh, medium bronze uh, piece of metal through here to match the existing roof. So it's not just gonna be a bright, shiny, stainless steel or aluminum finished item sitting on the roof. You know, you will have some of that color uh, in there. And uh, today, since I have a SMI 450 snap lock, we're going with the S-clamp. It's critical that you go to the S5 website to make sure that you get the correct uh, clamp for your system, whether it's for snow retention, whether it's for uh, wind, uh, whether it's for solar, you name it. To touch on that a little bit, the, the website we have what we call a configurator. And you go into the configurator, you can enter in your roof model, manufacturer, um, thickness, and it'll tell you what clamp you need. You also have an option there to go ahead and click on snow guard calculator and it'll take you to a page where you can enter all the specifics for your job and get a full bill of materials, know how many rows you've got to put on the roof, if you can skip seams or not, which okay. we'll go into a little more in this video, but it's a really handy tool. Nice, so if I'm a homeowner, is that something I do? Or if I'm a contractor, is that something I do? Who should be calculating the, the uh, color guard estimator or the snow guard estimator? In general, you would want either the supplier of the snow guards or the contractor to use the calculator. Um, homeowners, if you're savvy enough to know what your roof is and, and all of those dimensions and things, then have at it. But generally you wanna be qualified to know what you're, what you're doing because it is engineering a system for you. So this isn't just a Sheffield metal specific thing. Uh, S5 works with all the major metal roof manufacturers really all over the world, not just the United States. Correct. Um, we deal with, with most metal roofing manufacturers out there. Um, we're, we're prominent in Australia, uh, in Europe. Anywhere that you've got snow or solar, we're, we're in that area. Nice. With distribution. So getting back to why I went with the S-clamp, obviously it was the recommended clamp for my system. Uh, you guys have a multitude of clamps uh, for the system, but uh, looking at S5 on whole and why Sheffield Metals is really drawn to uh, distributing your product, uh, number of benefits. One of the things that stands out to us is really your set screw. Um, it's a rounded head and what that means is a lot of other folks in the industry have something that's actually going to penetrate the paint, penetrate the metal, which can cause future corrosion issues, it could cause paint failure issues. So what it's doing is it's not penetrating, but it's going to create a mechanical bond that is strong enough without really creating any product deficiencies down the line. And that mechanical interlock is, is important to the holding strength of the clamp. And what we do is it, there's actually a detent in the backside of that clamp so that when that screw goes in, you're pushing the metal into that detent. So it is a true mechanical as opposed to a frictional bond. Sean mentioned earlier that a lot of things that they do uh, has to do with an engineered design. So it's not just willy-nilly uh, putting a snow retention on the roof. They're actually basing it off of regional snow loads uh, you know, the type of system that you have, things like that. And Sheffield Metals, we're all about engineering. I mean, we, we want to push engineering on everything. You know, while this system is a UL90 rated system, you know, confidence that this system's going to last, it's going to hold up against heavy windstorms, things like that. And in installing an S5 system on it as well, fully believe that, you know, it's going to be able to withhold heavy snow loads as well. Absolutely. When you get into the design and layout and engineering of these products, um, it's something we take pride in is we don't want to just look at a roof and say, well, you know, to me, I think you're in heavy snow country. You probably want two rows, do a clamp every seam. I mean, as we found on your roof in doing our calculations, 
we thought we were going to have to put a clamp on every seam, but instead we're going to use every other seam on this roof because the calculations prove we can do so. And so that's saving you money, it's saving you time, and at S5 that's what we take pride in is, is not overcharging, not overdoing it, but doing what is needed the yeah. right way. So you're going to get your engineered system, what you need, you know, not something over the top or well below what, what a region or what a particular roof might require. Right. So we've gone over some of the pieces, parts, the color guard, the clamp. Um, you know, we'll get into the interface once we get into the install. What other things are we going to need as we, we go to install? It doesn't look like a whole lot of complicated stuff here, so you want to walk me through it? It's not a whole lot, and we've actually got some extra stuff just to show you, but what we want to have is, is common tools of the trade. And so when we developed this product, we wanted it to be easy for your contractor to grab the tools he's already got and get up on the roof. Okay. Um, we have here a screw gun, um, an impact. You can use either or. Tin snips for cutting the color strip when we slide it in. Um, a pair of vice grip pliers. The one thing that is, is not as common is this torque wrench. This is a dial indicating torque wrench. What this does is, is help you determine that you have reached the proper tension on the set screw. Okay. When it comes to installing S5 clamps, you know, we mentioned load testing and that we test everything and we can tell you what they hold. Well, you've got to achieve the torque that we test it at okay. to be sure you're going to hit those values. You've got to achieve or exceed. So we recommend installing these clamps at 130 to 150 inch pounds on 24 gauge. Okay. So you're going to tighten down a clamp and you're going to check it with this tool and see that you at least delivered 130. We know that we tested 115 inch pounds, so you've exceeded that and you're good to go. We don't expect you to use this tool on every clamp and every set screw. We want you to verify one or two, get a feel for what your gun's delivering, and go on and do your job. Okay. Um, so these things are great. Um, again, they're a little bit more expensive. We'll put a link to this in the video description. Uh, we distribute these. I think a lot of your other distributors also uh, do these. It's not a critical tool, but everybody that we work with on a you know daily basis that installs S5 really swears by these because it, it's just that insurance and it's not that expensive of a tool to make sure that your gun's dialed in, that you can get, get your job done right. Right. And where it is critical is, is a lot of guys are scared to squish the seam. And like I said, you've got to push that metal into that detent in the back of the clamp. And so where it's not critical for a guy that's been installing, a guy that hasn't been installing, it is critical because okay. they need to know how tight that screw really needs to be. And it's a lot tighter than you would think. Yeah, and it's uh, that's totally going to vary by system, by uh, seam style, by the gauge of metal that you're using. You know, this is a standing seam system, so uh, we love to say no penetrations on this roof um, or as little as possible. So this kind of goes hand in hand where a lot of face fasten systems, you know, they're designed to have uh, fasteners, uh, exposed fasteners. We don't want to penetrate this roof. That's going to contribute to the longevity of this system. Absolutely. And that's what S5 was founded on, was standing seam metal roofing and not putting holes in the roof. Yeah. So did we cover um, everything here? You know, we got a few other odds and ends. Tape measure, of course, um, a string line. In every box of S5 clamps, it comes with a, with a Torx tip for the screws okay. or an Allen tip, depending on what clamp model you have. Doesn't hurt to have an extra in case you break one. And finally, you need a, a half inch or a 13 millimeter socket to tighten down the bolt on the top. Got it, okay. I almost forgot a saw. You don't need it a lot, but you either need a chop saw for cutting on the ground or a reciprocating saw to cut up on the roof. Okay. Um, when you reach the end of an assembly or, or things like that. And so these come in eight foot sections. If you only need a four foot section, yeah, it makes sense to, to be able to cut it down, make it look like right. it grew there. So. Yep. All right, cool. Thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for the next video where we demonstrate the installation process step by step. Thanks to Sean Haddock from S5 and Adam from Sheffield Metals. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. Comment below with any questions. And as always, I'm Fab Barnett. We'll catch you next time.